morning everybody we're in Mount Pleasant Iowa and I gotta say it is a pretty pleasant place to be but I don't see any mountain around here Sometimes I wonder how these towns get their names, right? Mount Pleasant. You would assume that, oh, there must be a mount, or a hill, or a bump, or something that was very pleasant to the people who found it. And they said, this is a pleasant mount. You know what? Let's name our town Mount Pleasant. Let's tell the whole world that we have found the most pleasant mount. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe I haven't found it yet. So I only got to drive a half hour today. I've done my reset here already. Yesterday was Saturday. I'm now filming this on a Sunday. So I've been sitting here a little while already. I'm ready to go. I'm just gonna scoot my way down to Burlington. There's a truck stop there. there. It was too late when I got here on Friday. I didn't think I was gonna get any parking there and I'd have to come back here anyway. And this is also the pilot that I'm stopped at. And I had a free shower at the pilot, so I wanted to use that. It was, it was pleasant. It was very nice. So now that I'm all cleaned up, and my logs are reset. I'm just gonna scoot down to Burlington because I gotta be there first thing tomorrow morning to load. And that load is taking me to Langbank, Saskatchewan, back closer to home. We're getting very close to our move date. I'm getting even more excited. Let's get out there, short little drive today. And let's go see what the other truck stop's all about. So the good news is that there's a Walmart Supercenter right over there. And I made my way over there earlier to grab groceries. So now I have groceries in my truck. So now I don't have to buy food. I was all out of food. What's rattling here? Hey, hey, hey. Are you mad that I haven't dusted you yet? Is that what's going on here? Is that what's going on here? What's going on? I really gotta clean this thing. Yikes, maybe that's what I'll do tonight once we get to the new truck stop. The other truck stop we're going to is sort of like a little small mom and pop truck stop. So I wanted to make sure I get there in the middle of the day so that I'm certain to get uh, parking. Okay. Right on, right on, right on. I came back here to the pilot just to grab a coffee. So I've just been sitting here for like two, three minutes. And off we go. Let's rock and roll. That's where I was parked, right where that uh, Volvo is. That Volvo's gonna hate that spot because that Cascadia, the white Cascadia right beside it there, it's got a dog in there that barks non-stop. And you know me, I love dogs, I'm a big dog person. But if you don't know how to keep your dog quiet, oh, it's just non-stop. I guess the guy went inside to eat or left his truck here anyways. Left his, left his dog in the truck with the windows down a little bit. It looked like it was getting a little bit warm, but he had the windows down. But the dog just wouldn't stop barking. Every time he'd see, I couldn't sit in the front of the truck here because he would just non-stop bark at me. Any leaf that blew by, it was just, it woke me up this morning. So I don't know how long that dog has, has been there. It looks like the truck, there's somebody in the truck now, but from early this morning, man, that, Oh, you know, I'm gonna be really nice. I am way too nice. I'm way too, I should have gone, but I'm gonna let you go. Okay, it's the Canadian coming out in me. No, no, you, I insist, you first. You first, you're welcome.
What? What highway is that? Karen, say that one more time. Sure, now that I want you to talk, you don't want to talk. Come on, what did you say? Listen. In 300 meters, take the entrance to the right on US 34 East, US 218 South IA, 163 East IA, 27 South. Wow. You know, why build four roads when you can just build one? Let's get out here. Quick little half hour drive today. Tomorrow will be a long day of driving. I wanna get loaded early as I can. At least some kind of farm equipment, I think. And then uh, take that up to Saskatchewan. I'm really hoping I can get that unloaded Tuesday afternoon. It's about a 1500 kilometer or 1000 mile trip. I should be able to do that in a day and a half. We'll see. If not, Tuesday afternoon, I can unload it Wednesday morning. That's no big deal. But from there, I might just be going home. Might be. We'll see. I have to meet with the lawyers very soon this week as well. So uh, this might be the last trip. Going home empty from there would be about a five hour trip or so. But I'm thinking too far ahead again, aren't I? Let, let's just worry about today. Let tomorrow worry about itself. Tomorrow's got enough worries by itself. Or sorry, I should say today has enough worries by itself. Even though it's just a half hour drive. I mean, beautiful down here though. Iowa is just starting to see fall. Look, their leaves are still on the trees. Back home, leaves are all gone already, for the most part. And it's starting to get cold up there.
us off to the right here. I think on the maps it said, uh, what is that, U.S. ammunition something? Here it says, IAAAP Business Park Entrance. Defense Corporate. Okay, so this is all United States defense land beside me here. Huh. That's cool. We're staying right beside the military tonight. Safe and sound. Though I'm guessing if, you know, suddenly war broke out, this might become a target, so maybe it's not as safe as, as I think it is, but... You know, I like seeing the U.S. military around. Makes me feel good. So off to the right here, there's some more. What does this sign say here? Big red one. United States Army. Iowa Army Ammunition Plant. Oh, so this is where they make the ammunition. Okay, so this would definitely be a target if we went to war. <laughs> That's where they make the boom booms. Some of them anyway. Or who knows, that might just be a decoy. Could just be a decoy, like, I find it, you know, they probably won't advertise where they make all of their, their biggest weapons, you know? They're not gonna put a big sign on the entrance. So our truck stop is right up here on the right, literally right up against the United States Defense Army, Army land here. 500 meters on the right side. Here it is. What is welcome to West Burlington? I gotta pick up my load just down the street from here in the morning. Oh, and there's lots of parking available too. Nice. Good. Good. All right. So I picked the space right on the edge of the parking lot. So if I do have any neighbors, I'll only have one. So far my closest one is that red truck way out there. It'll probably fill up tonight yet though. So This is why I wanted to get here earlier like this so I had a little bit of a better pick of the spots. I feel like this spot will be good. There's the truck stop over there. Looks pretty big. I don't know what's on the second level. But, uh, it's a Phillips 66. Looks nice. And maybe I should have just come straight here. I don't know how much the showers cost here, or if I fuel up here, if I can get free showers, but I did fuel up at Casey's uh, yesterday, right? Because that's where I can get the cheapest fuel. I looked at the fuel prices of where we fueled up at the Casey's. Was it day before yesterday now for me? Uh, it's... Over the last couple of days, it's gone up 20 cents a gallon again. So, good thing we fueled up on the way down and not on the way back, right? So, our next fuel stop will probably be in Carrington, North Dakota, if prices stay the same overnight. But tomorrow morning's a new week. It's a Monday. We'll see what happens. Fuel prices are always up and down, up and down. I wish we could have something that's just more stable, like we could lock in a fuel price nationwide. Just lock in a fuel price for like six months. That's what it is. I mean, like six months. If we could lock it in for longer than that. That'd be awesome. Like for a year. Like, hey, 2023, bam, this is what the fuel price is going to be. And then we revisit it in 2024. Bam, that's what the fuel price is going to be. But I guess then the problem is if we get a really high price, we're stuck with that all year. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what would be better. Don't trust me. I don't know what would make things better, what would make things worse. Sometimes I think, oh, I could run this country. I'm talking about Canada. US is a whole different ballgame, but I could be prime minister, do a better job. Well, I know what I would do differently. I just don't know if it would make things better or not. <laughs> That's why I'm not the leader. I'll do the trucking. I'll, I'll, I'll try to influence them to make my life better, but they, they'll have to run the show. We just gotta get someone in there who actually has experience in leadership. I mean, prior to being prime minister, that would be, 
That would be good if we could do that next time. That'd be awesome. Super short little day though, right? It's not much I can show you today, guys. This is all we did. I got my screens in the windows here. Well, Blue's idling right now because I'm uh, working on the computer. I need the battery power. This is where we're at. So tomorrow we'll go grab our load first thing in the morning, we'll tie her down, we'll get her all ready to go. We'll probably come back to this truck stop here, grab a coffee, double check all my load securement, make sure everything is good to go. Then we'll start heading back. A little over a thousand miles towards Canada. Uh, we got about 1,700, a little over 1,700 kilometers to go. A little over a thousand miles. I'm gonna get as far as I can tomorrow, which is a Monday. We'll do the rest of Tuesday, and I'm pretty certain that we're going to be delivering Wednesday morning. I was gonna try to see if I could get there Tuesday afternoon, but I'd have to be there. They go home at 4 p.m., so I'd have to be there at like 3 for them to unload me on Tuesday, and that's... I I don't see that happening, to be honest. It's That would be pretty much going straight. Driving 20 hours straight, no bathroom breaks, nothing. This is not gonna happen. I don't think I'm gonna make that, so it's all right. I was told Wednesday morning's just fine, too, so we'll be there Wednesday morning, and we'll see what they have for us after that. But thanks for joining me today, everybody. It was just a short little half hour 30 mile run down the road 50 kilometers it was fun i'm glad you're here with me tomorrow is going to be a full day so don't forget to tune in hit that uh subscribe button hit that notif notification bell so that you don't miss it remember when you're out there on the highways driving to wherever you need to go think of me think of all of us truckers out there and we're just trying to get home to our families see we just want to get home to our loved ones so when you're thinking of rushing through traffic, think twice. Take it easy. There's no rush. Saving five seconds isn't going to save you your job. Take it easy out there and keep your head up. Keep your stick on the ice. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.